Good evening from St Andrews. Um, we're going to say Compline together. All you need is this little booklet. Actually, you don't really need even that. You can just listen. But if you want to take part, you need this booklet, which is online. We've put it on our website. Um, and for next week, there are more spare copies just inside the church. So do come and grab yourself one. They're there for the taking. Um, if you haven't got this and would like to print it out, just press pause on this video. I've pre-recorded this week's service and come back in a moment when you've got a copy. But for now, I'm going to carry on for those who've uh, already got this uh, booklet. Just uh, join in the bits in bold in the usual way. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. May our almighty and most merciful God grant us pardon, absolution and remission of all our sins, time for repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And let's sing together. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the Lord, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. This evening I'm going to read Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only, who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Turn on to page six of the booklet. I'm going to read from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 58. Is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, 
to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? Where you see the naked, to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm going to read the response for you and you reply with the bits involved. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. The Nunc Dimittis. Christ died for us so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Let's say this together. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ died for us so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Let's pray. Loving Lord, we ask for your mercy upon us in these troubled times. Be with our communities, be with our whole nation, be with the whole world, that this awful disease might recede that lives would be spared and families not broken. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, be with our medics and nurses and paramedics and all the hospital staff, and all frontline staff of all sorts. Keep them safe, Lord, as they serve us and let them know your presence, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be with the leaders of the nations, we pray, and grant them your wisdom. Cease all posturing, and let them do the best for their peoples. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. with each of us too I pray Lord cease our anxieties and lay down our worries help us to know you and you only for all that you promised is true and good and right help us to hold fast to Jesus and to look to him for all good things Lord in your mercy hear our prayer and the collect Almighty God, may we, by the prayer and discipline of Lent, enter into the mystery of Christ's sufferings, that by following in the way we may come to share in the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, saying together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may, he, may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.